Hello, my name is Charles Edward Dudley Sr. and I was one of the Seventh-day Adventist Church's leading advocates for racial justice and structural change during the second half of the 20th century. I was born February 21st, 1927 in South Bend, Indiana to Joseph and Julia Dudley. My grandparents were part of the original 16 freed slaves who established a church in Hickman, Kentucky. My parents moved from Kentucky to South Bend, Indiana at the end of World War I. I was the youngest of seven children. My family moved to Huntsville, Alabama in 1944 where I finished my 12th grade year at Oakwood Academy. Then went to uh, on to study ministry at Oakwood College, now Oakwood University. At Oakwood, I met Etta May Maycock and we got married on December 28, 1947. We had three children, Bonita, Charles II, and Albert. After graduating from Oakwood, I began my pastoral ministry in 19 years. I ministered in Alabama, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. In 1962, I became the president of the South Central Conference. I continued in the office for 31 years until I retired in 1993. While in office, I was able to grow church memberships, build more churches and schools, and gain government support to build federally subsidized housing for seniors in the cities of Bowling Green and Paducah, Kentucky, Nashville, and Clarksville, Tennessee, and Cleveland, Mississippi. I was able to navigate through many other challenges to help spread light to the racial struggles, attitudes, and practices. Though I could have moved up the levels of church structure, I refused. I felt that the local conference level was where mission could be best practiced and most successful. I was also best with the ability to sing. We have used as a song for this camp meeting and a theme, I'm packing up and getting ready to go. So what on earth are we doing for heaven? Oh, what on earth are we doing for heaven? This really struck a little more forcefully in my mind this morning. Brother Archie Branch, one of my old deacons back in Memphis, placed in my hand a set of cards. He said, you know, these are all of the people who have died or stopped attending church since you were there. And as you read the list, it becomes very moving because these dear souls are very dear to our hearts. Many of them are sleeping. And we too must pack up and move out one of these days. I think Elder Ward said the other night, a hundred years from now, if we're still here, or if Earth is still here, all of us will be gone. But uh, I, I pray and hope that Jesus will come. He said this morning that it's possible that the Lord could be here in seven years. Uh, getting ready for the time, we need to pack up and get ready. So it's, what on earth are we doing for heaven? We're Pack it up. Someone said they'd like to have all the men to sing that, and then all of the ladies would join in with us, and uh, then let's say everybody bring it to the rafters where, let's just do the chorus. Can we do that? Mm. Packing up and getting ready. Packing up and getting ready to go. Packing up. Getting ready, I'm packing up, getting ready, I'm packing up and getting ready, packing up.
up and getting ready to go. So we have all the men, just all the men. Ladies, you just listen to the breath. Brethren, would you sing that for us? And bring some of that rich, deep bass in there. It's packing up and getting ready. Packing up and getting ready to go. Packing up, getting ready. Ladies, sing it, sing it, children. Get my crowd up. I'm packing up and getting ready. Packing up, getting ready to go. Packing up and getting ready. I'm If you don't believe I've been redeemed, I'm just follow me down to the Jordan stream. I'm packing up, Sing it, church. Pack it up, getting ready to go. I'm packing up, getting ready to go. I'm retired, I wrote three studies from 1997 to 2000. I died in 2010. My name is Theodore Roosevelt Mason Howard. I was called a brave, courageous leader, but I was a surgeon by trade. I was born on March 4th, 1908 in Murray, Kentucky to Arthur Howard, a tobacco twister, and Mary Chandler, a cook. It was thought that I would follow my, in my father's footsteps, but Will Mason, a local white doctor in and Seventh-day Adventist saw potential and gave me a job working in his hospital at the age of 15. This job led me down the path to be a surgeon. I attended three Seventh-day Adventist colleges, Oakwood University, formerly Oakwood Junior College in Huntsville, Alabama, Union College, a nearly all-white Seventh-day Adventist college in Lincoln, Nebraska, and the College of Medical Evangelists, now called Loma Linda, in, Lo in Loma Linda, California. Not only did I attend all three Seventh-day Adventist colleges, but Will Mason gave me financial support 
and formal recommendations. Because of this, I added Mason as one of my middle names. While I attended med medical school in California, I became involved in civil rights and political causes. I also wrote in the California Eagle, the main black newspaper in Los Angeles. In 1955, I lived in Mount Bayou when two white men murdered a black 14-year-old boy named Emmett Till for supposedly flirting with a white woman. I turned my house into a base of operation for reporters, witnesses, and investigators. Eventually, after all of the death threats that I received, I decided to relocate to Chicago, Illinois. In Chicago, I continued to fight for civil rights. I ran for Congress, but unfortunately lost to William Levi Dawson. I started my own clinic called the Friendship Medical Center. I married Helen Nella Boyd in 1935. I fathered eight kids and adopted one of them. I slowly stepped away from the civil rights movement as my health was declining. I died May 1st, 1976 in Chicago.